Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. Today, you're saying hi? We're going to talk about Nigel, the powder blue tank. Okay, so before we get to Nigel the Powder Blue Tang, I have another fish tank feature for you. And if any of you guys don't know what the fish tank feature is, it's something I started a while ago to promote your reef tanks. If you have any kind of fish only tank or reef tank or you're in this hobby and you want to showcase your tank on the show, submit a 20 second clip, email it to this link below, and just let me know what your favorite thing about this hobby is and we'll get it on the show. So without further ado, here's another fish tank feature. My name is Puzzle Sham. This is my 75 gallon tank, mostly LPS for us. And yeah, what I like about it most, it's in my room. And it's a challenge to keep all this and it runs off the sun pier, filtration medias, chiller, the whole work. So yeah. This is my 75 gallon tank, and thanks for watching. Thank you so much Puzzle Shums for sending in a video of your reef tank. Thank you for being a part of the fish tank feature. And now, on to Nigel, the powder blue tank. Powder blue tangs are known for their nice blue body and their blue and black markings which outline their face and their tail. I've had Nigel for a little over three years and the powder blue tang has always been my favorite fish and in fact this is my dream fish and it took me a while to purchase him because at the time I didn't have the 210 gallon reef tank and everything I read said that powder blue tangs were moderate to expert level and they were difficult to keep and as much as I wanted one like a lot of things in this hobby I had to be patient. I researched everything I could about them and I kept an eye out for the best price as well as a healthy looking fish and when I finally found Nigel in the local fish store I gave it one more week just to be sure and a week later when I returned to the fish store he was still there and I knew it was time. Nigel has since made the move and lives nicely in the 210 gallon reef accompanied by a yellow tang and a cell fin tang and he eats absolutely everything I feed the tank. Now when keeping a powder blue tang you need a larger tank because they love to swim and powder blues can also be very aggressive and trust me he is definitely the king of my reef tank. Now they can also be very aggressive toward other surgeon fish or tangs and one way to avoid this is to introduce tangs at the same time which is what I did with the yellow tang and the powder blue tang. Now when I introduced the cell fin tang, Nigel must have just had a little heart to heart or just a little talk with him because everyone gets along really well. So if you're looking for a powder blue tang, be sure to provide a large enough aquarium, choose a healthy specimen, maintain good water quality, avoid similar tank mates like tangs of the same genus or same color, and feed a variety of veggies. Tangs love their greens, seaweed, flake food, and yes, some meaty food mixed in there too to keep them nice and strong and healthy. Hey everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you guys like what you see, and if you do, remember to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not a part of this thing, hit the subscribe button. I make videos every week. And to activate notifications, all you have to do is click that little bell icon and you'll be notified every time I make a new video. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for checking out this video and we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.